G'day scientists. Today I'm reviewing two kits to let you build your own bridges. Okay, first up is a wooden suspension bridge kit that I got from Amazon for $10.29. It's super simple, but also super cheap. Let's see what's inside. Right, first up we have the wooden pieces of the bridge, which are laser cut into this plywood. The instructions, which are entirely in Chinese, some string, a file and some glue. Even though these instructions are entirely in Chinese, I'm not going to translate them. I'm going to try and build the bridge just from the photos. I reckon it should be okay. Let's give it a go. I think first I'm going to pop all the wooden bits out of the plywood. There are some small holes that I think would be easier if I just pop them out with a screwdriver like this. Now, all the pieces are popped out of the wood. I'm going to start assembling this together. First step is to take the main tall part of the bridge and put this little cross section in. I'm not sure what these are called in bridge making terminology. If you have any idea, let me know in the comments. Next, I'm making the road surface by joining the two long flat bits together with this joining piece and adding in the little fastenings. All the way through this, I'm just gonna add plenty of glue to all of it. And I guess this is not particularly realistic, but maybe glue is used to hold bridges together. I don't know. I've added so much glue, I'm going to wipe the excess off with a piece of kitchen towel as I go. Hopefully that will make it dry a bit quicker. Now I can take this tall piece and balance the road through it. These two supporting pieces are glued either end of the bridge to make it stand up by itself. Then the bridge kind of supports itself without the need for the string, not really like a suspension bridge, but this kit feels more like a model than an experiment so far. The instructions show these bridge edges being attached next. Again, I'm adding a ton of glue to make it stick together nicely, making sure I'm wiping off all the excess as I go. Finally, I'm threading the string through the little holes that are in the tower part and the road surface. First on one side and then the other. The instructions don't show enough detail in the pictures to let me know where to start from. So I'm gonna start from the outside in and trim off the excess string with some scissors to make it tidy. There we go, the bridge is finished. It's a little wonky, but it's super sturdy. All that glue is holding it together really well. The kit was great fun. It was more of a building kit than a STEM kit, but I do feel that you would learn while using it. The instructions being in Chinese didn't really impact my enjoyment or ability to complete it. In fact, it probably made it a bit more enjoyable as it was like solving a puzzle. The price point though is excellent. At just over $10, it's great value for money. I am gonna give the wooden suspension bridge kit three stars for fun, three stars for price, and two stars for learning. Buy or bye bye? It's a buy. Amazing value for money and great fun to build. Right, next up, Engino Discovering Stem Structures, Constructions and Bridges. Super long name, but this kit looks super fancy. And it was quite a bit more money than the simple kit we just looked at. The cost was $43.56. Let's see if it's as good. Inside we have pieces of bridge, what looks like a removal tool so you don't hurt your fingers, an instruction manual and lots more pieces. The manual looks good. It's got some information about bridges and history, shows you the types of bridges and the theory around how they work. This section is explaining about the physical forces that act on different parts of the bridges. This is the main science about all bridges. If you've ever seen a bridge collapse or played one of those bridge building computer games, it's these forces that are acting on the bridges. Then the manual shows you a series of bridges you can build using the bricks in the pack. Each bridge shows you the forces and how they transfer through the pieces and also gives you some experiments to perform on the bridge with some space to write down your results. The rest of the book takes you through the detailed steps to build the bridges. I'm going to build the cable stayed bridge. It uses cables just like in the last bridge I built. I'm going to use only the manual provided, but this Ingeno kit also comes with a link to our website that shows you each of the bridges in 3D so you can step through piece by piece and move the bridge model around. It's a great addition and the first time I've seen a blend of paper and online instructions in any of the kits I've reviewed. Let's start putting this together. The pieces are color coded by the number of connections they have. So it's easy to make out from the instructions which piece is which. The pieces slot together by either popping them together or sliding them into each other. It's super straightforward. And when I made a few mistakes, I didn't need to use the removal piece to get them apart. 
This bridge took me about 30 minutes to build in total. The instructions were clear, but I think that it would have been easier if I'd used the online 3D model at the same time. While I'm building this bridge, help me build my channel. If you've loved this video, punch the like button, then hit subscribe and the notification bell if you want to see more videos from me and learn which science kits are worth your money. I'm now at the stage where I'm threading the suspension string through the various parts of the bridge. I gotta tell you, this is not like the other kit, which was mostly decorative. This bridge is fragile and the string is really going to help hold it together. When you're going through the experiments on this, there are gonna be some that fail and cause the bridge to collapse. I can tell this is going to be great fun, building, destroying and rebuilding again. Okay, here's the finished bridge. As you can see, it's much, much bigger than the wooden kit, and I think it's going to provide hours and hours of learning and fun. This bridge kit is amazing. It's literally going to last hours and hours. Unlike any of the kits I've reviewed so far, it's got a great blend of hands-on and theory in the book, and the experiments you perform that will result in destroying what you've built are also super cool. The online tool is really good too. It lets you go step by step through the build in 3D. The price is higher than the other bridge, but you're gonna get so much more. It's just awesome. I am going to give the Ingino Discovering STEM Structures Constructions and Bridges three stars for fun, three stars for price, three stars for learning. Buy or buy buy? It's 100% a buy. The quality of this kit is amazing. It's super fun to play with. Great job, Ingino. I can't wait to try more of your kits. These bridge kits were awesome. If you like awesome stuff and want to know what you can build with air, check this video out where I review a kit to build your own Mr. Wavy Aero Dancer.